want to take off this panel right here. You just pull up. Like so. So this was that panel pulled off. As you can see, it just clipped on to these. Next, you want to remove the one uh, in the back passenger seat. So we're now in the back passenger. Same thing, you just pull up. There's a there's an area where you can just put your fingers and just yank up. Likewise, just keep pulling up here. Now this area is loose. You don't really need to take the whole thing off um, as long as you can remove this whole piece now since these were covering it as you can see. So with this panel, you actually want to push right here towards this way. Um, so with this panel, you actually want to push right here towards this way. Um, so what you'll end up doing is you'll actually gap it a little bit, as you can see. So just repeat it all the way down to the on the other side as well. So once you keep pushing, you'll see that this whole thing slides off. Just move your uh, front passenger seat all the way up or all the way back to remove this whole piece. Okay, now I can remove this. And as such, and now you'll expose your uh, seatbelt mechanism. With this top panel, uh, it's the same thing, you just push this way. Um, there's clips. There's just one orange clip, as you can see, that goes in here. Likewise, there's other clips here. You just want to dislodge them, pull them straight up, um, you know, gently. But these panels are made pretty well, so they're not gonna they're not gonna break. For the lower part of the seat belt, you'll see uh, on this side there's two holes and one hole on this side. You want to take some paper clips and to press uh, towards the lateral side on this, on these two sides, and then push in on this side. So taking this belt off of this was by far the hardest part. Uh, what I found to be most useful is actually not using paper clips, as I initially said, is to actually get um, these smaller screwdrivers, um, three of them preferably. Um, and the first thing you actually want to do is you want to push the seat belt inwards and actually give it a little bit of slack. Take one of these screwdrivers and while you're giving slack, put it in that uh, single hole right here and press it a little. You'll feel that when you actually give it slack, the belt, um, you're actually able to push in uh, uh, this depression clip. I don't know what it is, but you can actually feel it go in and out. Um, but if you don't give it slack, uh, initially I was not giving it enough slack and I was pushing it and nothing was happening. Um, so the first thing you want to do is, you know, give it some slack, put this in, and I would tilt this belt down and apply pressure downwards. That way you would keep this screwdriver compressing the uh, pressure clip inside. And then once you're pushing it down like this, with you know, two of your hands, stick in one of the screwdrivers on this hole and then the other screwdriver in this hole and just keep playing with it and it should pop out. The most important thing is to make sure this remains depressed um, and you'll feel it, you'll feel it push down a little and you just want to maintain that pressure uh, while you fiddle with these two clips on each side. And I don't know if this will capture it, but uh, you see that little silver prong sticking out right there? That's the thing that you actually want to push in, uh, push towards this side, obviously, uh, towards the lateral side. Uh, same thing with this side, you see that pin, that silver pin sticking out right there. It's very small. Uh, you want to push it that way, towards the lateral side. And this one is just straight in. Um, and as I said, you want to make sure you're giving this belt slack, because if you don't, for some reason, it just it will not depress, so make sure you do that. It took me a while to figure that one out. So there'll be uh, three bolts that you're gonna remove. The one up top is a 14 millimeter. There's one holding the seatbelt module in, that's a 10 millimeter. And then another one 
that's another 14. So you need a 14 millimeter socket and a 10 millimeter socket for the ratchet. And then before you finally remove all the bolts, see how they're loose, you want to take this black cap off, off this connector, and then pull the connector off. The black cap, you just take a pin and you just pop that out. Uh, this post is probably a lot easier with the, a pick as opposed to a paper clip. After that black clip is removed, pull the connector straight out. Make sure you keep the black clip because you will need it to reinstall.